Good morning, sunshines, and welcome back to another virtual story time with Mrs. C. I'm Mrs. C, your favorite virtual story time librarian, here to share another great day of fun reading and learning with you. It's Friday, sunshines. It's the end of the week, and although the weather outside may be raining, windy, and gloomy, you're still shining, and I'm so glad that you decided to join us for story time today. Can you say good morning to Curious Carla? Good morning, Carla. I'm so happy you decided to stick around today for your last story time with us. Boys and girls, what sound does Curious Carla Letter C makes? That's right, she makes the K sound. And do you know some words that begin with Curious Carla's Letter C? Cat. Cat begins with Curious Carla sound. Do you know another word? Cap. Cap begins with Curious Carla's letter sound. Give me one more word. Oh, wow, sunshines. Communicate. Communicate begins with Curious Carla's sound. Do you remember the sign for the letter C? That's right. This is the sign for the letter C. Good job, sunshines. Well, today we're going to jump right on in into today's story time. But before we start, let's get into our groove and move minute with our friends from Sesame Street. And we'll be right back with today's story. Have fun, sunshines. Hey. <laughs> hey, we're about to sing the alphabet in a real fun way, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said A. We said A. I said A B. We said A B. A B C. A B C. A B C D. A B C D. E. E. A B C D E F E. I said H. We said H. I said H I. We said H I. H I J. H I J. H I J. H I J K. I said O. He said O. I said O P. He said O P. Q R S. Q R S. Q R S T. Q R S T. U. U. Q R S T. U and I said W. He said W. I said W. Are you ready for story time? All right, sunshines, let's settle down and turn on our listening ears and let's get ready to read. Today, we are going to read a very special story. And the title of this story is A Case of the Can Do's. My name is Sophia. My mom's name is Sophia too but everyone calls her Sophie. She says we're double trouble. I like that. 
I love so many things. I love to draw. I love to meet people. I love to go places. I love to do things. I love to learn and play and help and read and dream. Mom says I love to talk to and she's right. I go lots of places with my noble steed. It's purple, my favorite color. That's my wheelchair. I like the noble steed better though. It sounds fancy. I feel like a brave knight. I love my steed. It means sweet, sweet freedom. I know what I can do and where I can go with it. I can feel my hair blowing in the wind. I can feel the world rushing by. Then my teacher tells me to slow down in the hallway. <laughs> Oops. It's weird. Sometimes people act like my noble steed is a bad thing. They look at me funny, like I can't do things. Sometimes people talk at me funny too, like I can't understand them. Oh, I don't like that but I can do just about anything. Sometimes I do it differently, but I still do it. One day, we go on a field trip. We visit the theater for a show. I love the theater. It's old and fancy, and sometimes there's popcorn. Yum! There are ballet dancers on the stage. I love how they move. They move smoothly. They move gracefully, they spin, they reach, they glide. I can move smoothly too. I can spin, I can reach, I can glide, I can be graceful, mostly. My friends clap for me, but my friend Cora says I can't be a ballerina. She says dancers have to move their legs. I don't think she's trying to be mean, but sometimes mom says people are mean without meaning it. I don't know what to say, and that doesn't happen very often. Maybe Cora's right. I can't do that. I never could. That makes me sad and a little mad. But, but... But, I just keep thinking, but. I wake up still thinking about it, but now I'm not mad or sad. Why can't I be a ballerina? I can. I think I have a case of the can-do's. Mom loves the can-do's. She says we'll look for a dance teacher. Someone new who has the can-do's too. That's not easy. We look and we ask. And ask, ask, ask. We do a lot of asking. And then we ask some more. I keep my can-dos. It's hard, but I can do that too. Yes, I here finally. I didn't expect that. I blink. Yes, I ask. Really? Yes, I have a teacher. He likes the can-dos too. He can say, he says I can do it. He says people once told him he couldn't be a dancer either. The next day, I start dance classes. I meet my classmates. I get the funny looks. I'm used to that but I have the can-do's. I can be a dancer. I can do it. I can. I stretch my arms up high. I show how I can spin and spin and spin. Whoa, maybe too much spinning. I can move with the others. I can glide. I can. I can, I can. I practice, practice, practice. It's not always easy, 
Mom says nothing good ever is. There are so, there are no more funny looks. We are all, we all have the can do's now. We can do it together. Now I'm on the stage. I stretch, I reach, I glide, I spin. I knew I could do it and I did. And I'm going to keep doing it too. The end. Sunshines, did you enjoy that story of the case of the I can do's? What was the problem in the story? That's right. Sophia wanted to be a ballerina, but people were telling her that she couldn't be a ballerina because of her wheelchair. What did she call her wheelchair? That's right, her noble steed. She said it sounded fancier. Did Sophia find a teacher to help her be a ballerina? Yes, she did. Did Sophia ever give up? No, she didn't. What was her phrase? I can, I can, I can. And that word begins with our letter of the week, letter C. Sunshines, you know, you can do anything you put your mind to it. It doesn't matter if you have a disability. It doesn't matter if you're special in any kind of way or you have any limitations. You can do anything that you want to do as long as you put your mind to it. Yes, we're all different and we do things in a different way, but you can still do it and never let anybody tell you that you can't do something because you can. Sunshines, this is the end of story time for today. We have enjoyed Curious Carla on this week. Curious Carla, we hope that you come back to visit us real soon. Next week, we have a brand new letter that we're showcasing and a brand new character from our Adventure Alphabet Library. So we hope that you join us first thing Monday morning for a brand new virtual programming. But until then, keep finding those words that begin with the letter C. Also, go back and pick up letter A, letter B, and see how many words you can find that begin with all of our friends from Adventurous Annie, Bookie Ben, and Curious Carla. So until next Monday, keep reading, sunshines, and I'll see you the next time. Bye.